doing ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my channel this is tony phillips and i'm going to bring you another quick video on how to fix a pressure vacuum breaker in a few easy steps uh first of all before we begin i want you guys to not forget to hit the subscribe button please feel free to comment and click on the notifications tab i also want to thank everybody that took the time out to subscribe to my channel i just reached over 100 subscribers this channel was never intended to grow i just had this channel just to record my kids and to save my videos i posted a video that i was going to produce on another channel but that video began to go viral it took a lot of people out so i decided to go ahead and just continue to make videos again i'm not a handyman i'm just an average person that's trying to save you guys money so stay tuned i'm going to show you guys how to save money to fix your own pressure Back. As you can see, my existing PVC, my, my existing pressure vacuum breaker was messed up. If I turn it on, see water coming out. In order to get the job done, you're going to need a few parts to get everything taken care of for you. First, you're going to need a PVC pipe cutter. You can buy these Home Depot, find one Amazon, Walmart, wherever you go. That's not affiliate marketing, but this is what you need to cut your PVC pipe. You're going to also need the right size PVC couplings. After you cut your pipe, you're going to have to be able to put your old existing PVC pipe in here and couple them together. And once you couple them, you have to have your PVC cement glue. This right here is going to keep the actual PVC pipe cemented to the couplings. And of course, you're going to need the pressure vacuum breaker to replace your broken one. And some type of pliers, vice grips, or some type of monkey wrench or pliers that's big enough to unscrew the existing PVC pipe from your pressure vacuum breaker. Now, before you begin the job, the first thing that you have to do is to make sure to turn the water off. As you see, once I turn the water on to my pressure vacuum breaker, water went everywhere. In order to do the job, you have to turn your water off. To turn your water off is very easy. Most of you will have a traditional in-ground water meter, as I do right here in the front. Now with mine, I have a water leak. If I were to take this off, I share one with my neighbor. There's water inside because there's a leak. The city has to come and fix that. But I have some pictures up that will show you guys how to turn your water meter off. It's very easy to do. You just turn it. I believe clockwise or counterclockwise. Some of, you may, some of you may have a tool, but you can use either your hand if you're stubborn, you can use like an actual wrench or something and turn your water off. Your water has to be off during the duration. So make sure that you don't have the washing machine going, nobody's taking a shower, nobody's washing dishes. The water has to be off for a few minutes during this fix. And in my situation, I turn this right here and this cuts off the entire water supply to my house. So with that cut off, I'm gonna test and see if the water's cut off. As you see, Nothing's coming out, except for the water that was already inside the water hose. So the water is all to the home and we're ready to go. All right, now we're ready to begin our job. The water's cut off. I have all of my tools. Now I had to get an actual screwdriver as well because I have this right here in the way. But if you look closely, what I was going to do from a different video, they had it a bigger job. It was gonna cut everything off by a whole lot of new piping. Well, I went to home with Lowe's just, uh, just, just recently and the guy showed me that all I had to do is basically cut this existing pipe right here. We're gonna cut right here in the center. We're gonna couple right there. I'm gonna have to remove this, but then I'm gonna also cut somewhere in the mid section of this right here and I'm gonna keep these pieces. I'm gonna unscrew these from the pressure vacuum breaker. I'm gonna salvage these pieces and I'm gonna cut somewhere in the center and put my coupling right here, put some more cement glue, glue it together, do the same thing down here, give me a good spot, and then that way it'll be a quick and easy fix. So first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this. I'm gonna get this out of the way and I'm ready to make my cut. So I'm gonna cut halfway about right here. So this is my PVC pipe cutter. Brand new, never done this before guys. I'm not a plumber, I'm not a handyman. This is the average Joe trying to save money. So you guys can do this too. If I can do it, anyone. Can. So I'm gonna cut right here. I know how to use this guys. I'm too many just ratchet. So I'm gonna ratchet this off and it's start to cut. Hope it gives me a good clean cut. I don't want to buy any more pipe. And there we go. Nice clean cut. Y'all see that? Very easy. So we're going to salvage these two pieces. All this is going to stay on. I'm going to unscrew this. But first, I want to get everything off. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off as well. 
And I'm gonna do the same thing here. This is probably a good cutting point. Again, it's my first time using one of these, my very first time. So this is a very, a very easy fix. I'm gonna go ahead and ratchet this. This is a ratchet cut. Water is coming up a little bit, but again, the water is cut off, so it shouldn't be that bad. Whoop. All right, guys, now you see, again, living proof, I'm not an expert. Duh. I cut it, what, I actually cut the, uh, the thing off, I thought the water was turned off, but as you see, water spouted everywhere. So I had to go to the meter itself, I had to put my wrench inside the meter, I cut the water off, now that problem is solved. Now, one thing I did when I first began to do my research and get all the parts was that I took the circumference of the pipe which that was fine. I had like about a four, four and a quarter inch pipe, but the best way to go is across. Uh, you can go across and then this is a one inch PVC pipe and you want to find the correct coupling for a one inch PVC pipe. Yours may vary, but this is about an inch and a half and that's what I have to couple. And so I'm going to, uh, my, next very, my very next step is I want to make sure I can take this existing pipe off of the pressure vacuum breaker. I'm gonna turn this one with my hand I already pre loosened it with my pliers uh, during the intermission break. <laughs> now it's good to have some type of tape or something to go in this. I didn't buy the tape to put in there. That's fine if you don't have it. I'm not gonna do it on this situation. But as you see, it's hard to turn by just hand. My pliers aren't that big, but I was able to get it to turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and just unscrew this counterclockwise, typical, typical screw. And you see I loosened it up right there. Get it loose. And as you see, I have the old damaged pressure vacuum breaker. Well, you see the crack right there. That's from not covering up. Guys, make, I thought I was covered because I had the pipes covered, as you see, but you have to cover this up. There are some sleeves that you can buy. Uh, you can buy from like your local hardware store. You can go to Amazon, Walmart.com and you can cover the whole thing up. That way you can protect and save. This cost me like about a 140, 150. I was able to find my exact model number. I looked at it right here. I found one on Amazon. It was cheaper than Lowe's and Home Depot. I found the vendor, bought it. I had it for several months and now I'm ready to go ahead and try to replace it. But, so we got this off and this is a new one. As you can see, this is the new one. It's gonna go just like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and screw this in here clockwise you gotta go too tight but just tight enough excuse the dog brother. as you can see this is already in the own position but very tight that should be good enough and so now I have this back ready to go so for the next steps I usually wouldn't use gloves but I don't want anybody to have any kind of allergic reaction whenever you deal with any kind of chemicals it's always safe to use gloves I typically wouldn't use gloves but I don't want to be a bad influence on anyone and so we're gonna use gloves it's gonna be safe Now that I have my handy dandy gloves on, this is my very first time using this, but you have to have this in order for, I can get it off. Use my handy dandy pliers here. Um, so if I can do this, any one of you guys can. I'm no way, shape, form, or fashion a plumber, or even a handyman. I'm just an average guy trying to do this, guy trying to save you guys money. But look at that, that's the cement. You want to rub this both inside your coupling and around the existing PVC pipe. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue. Make sure I don't get it everywhere. Inside this right here, there's a lip that will keep it from going past this point. So there's like a little lip inside, if you guys can see that. And so I have it right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put some on the PVC pipe itself. And we're gonna glue it, we're gonna hold it for a few seconds. So, and I don't know what I'm doing, but we're doing it so that's the first coupling i'm gonna sit it here and let that sit for a few moments i don't want it to push out 
And then once that's done, I'm gonna get the inside and we're gonna, we're gonna do the other side, the, the uh, bottom portion first. So I'll give it a few seconds. That way I don't let this push out. We don't want the glue to force the PVC coupling off. So I have that couple right there. I'm gonna do this bottom piece now. This is my next couple. I got my cement. You see the lip in that center piece? We're just gonna get this right here first. I got some up in there. You have to do a whole lot. And then we're gonna get this bottom piece down here. And we're gonna put this on. It's real wet for my mistake. But it's not a problem. I'm gonna let that sit for a few seconds. Let's hold it in place. That way it doesn't push itself out. And then we're gonna do the inside of the other side and then we're gonna put the pressure vacuum breaker back on. So that was a few moments. I'm ready to rock and roll. So now I have my pressure vacuum breaker. I'm ready to put this on next. So again, we're gonna get the inside. Make sure you mount it the right way. Look at the inside right here. And guys, we're almost finished. We are right at the finish and stretches. Put some right here. Do the same thing down at the bottom. Put some inside here. I'm gonna put some on here. Just like you. I'm gonna put this bad boy back over here like that. Yo, my very first time doing this. Very first time. So you shouldn't be intimidated. Again, if I can do this, anyone can. Quick and easy fix. That's in there snug. Is in right there snug. Again, this is in an open position. And it's time to start watering my grass again. In this Texas heat, uh, we're right about two days from, from spring salsa. Uh, this Texas heat, you wanna beat that, I gotta start watering my grass uh, at least about once or twice a week. And then once summer months come in, I can do it like about three or four times a week. But that's pretty much set to go. I'm gonna turn my valve off. I'm gonna go back to my water meter and turn the water back on. And I'll be right back with you guys with tests to see if it works. Make sure everything is working and rocking and rolling. And right back with you. All right, guys, I just turned the water back on and everything is working. Now, this may be not fully screwed on. When I first came back to turn the water on, if I were to turn this, I probably can't turn it now, but I have water leaking. All you gotta do is adjust this top, this screws on and off. And right now it's very, it's, it's, it's pressurized. But water was coming down, I tightened it up and stop but then one thing you may notice is that this little valve here if you see right here is the screw this is where you can test it make sure the water comes on that was leaking when i first turned it on all you gotta do is just screw that back tight screw it in the right place it's gonna keep the water from cutting off whenever you cut your water back on after your winter you always still want to come and do this anyway to make sure the water is coming through before you cut your sprinkler systems back on but this is back on y'all you have a novice somebody that's not a handyman i watched a quick youtube video i did my own video because that video was more in detail they got those digging in the ground my video i hope was less intimidating but it's a very easy fix just make sure that you have your water cut off don't make the same mistake that i made and assume that you can cut off on the side of the house go ahead and use a water meter get your wrench or your hand turn the water off and then go ahead and do the job but it's a quick easy fix I saved a lot of money. Hopefully you guys can save a lot of money too. Again, I wanna thank you guys for coming to my channel. Please, again, hit the subscribe button, click on your notifications, feel free to comment. Let me know if there's an even better fix, it's something I would look, but it was a delight working with you guys. You guys have a blessed day. Peace out. Duh.